Hey guys, the leaks are true. A real life look at the Pixel 9 Pro and its cases are out. Featuring a brand new camera module with flat front and rear. The side panels are flat and closely with rounded edges. Similar to the iPhone 15, in the live images, we can see some of the specs including 16 gigs of LPDDR5 frame and fast Samsung UFS 128 gigs of storage. The three cameras on the back features a main camera, super wide lens, and periscope camera. The Pixel 8 camera is already fantastic and you will get all the software magic tools. Additionally, according to reputable leakers, the Tensor C4 is coming to the Pixel 9. It's based on Exynos 2400, which has already proven itself to be quite a beast. GPU performance is even better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, as shown in test by Mobiscrop, where he compared the Exynos variant S24 and Plus with the S24 Ultra. Now, when I looked at Geekbench scores, again, the CPU benchmarks are somewhat proportional to what we saw with Antutu. But have a look at the GPU benchmarks. The Exynos variants actually outperform the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Seriously guys, scores aside, performance wise, you will not feel any difference between these two for 95% of the things that you do on a daily basis. So yes, the Pixel 9 will be powerful and power efficient. NPU and AI performance are also expected to be better. The Pixel 9 will feature lots of AI enhancement and improved thermal management is also anticipated. This year, we might see three variants in Pixel series, Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, and Pixel 9 XL. Google could follow a similar series approach as Samsung and iPhone, giving us more options to choose from based on our budget. While there are still months to go, we can expect the Pixel 9 Pro to be priced around $1,000, with a release date likely in October. That's all for now, subscribe and stay tuned for the latest updates.